Hey, it's Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're looking at cost and capacity management computing services. So before we talk about them, let's define what is cost management. So this is how do we save money, and we have capacity management. How do we meet the demand of traffic and usages through adding or upgrading servers? So let's get to it. The first are the different types of EC2 pricing models. So you got spot instances, reserved instances, saving plans. These are ways to save on computing by paying up in full or partially, or by committing to a yearly contract or multi-year contract, uh, or by being flexible about the availability and interruption to computing services. We have AWS Batch, so this plan schedules and executes your batch computer workloads across the full range of AWS computing services, which can utilize spot instances to save money. We have AWS Compute Optimizer, so suggest how to reduce costs and improve performance by using machine learning to analyze uh, you, uh, your previous usage history. We have EC2 auto scanning groups, so ASGs. These automatically add or remove EC2 servers to meet the current demand all of traffic. They will save you money and meet capacity since you only run the amount of servers you need. Then we have ELB, so Elastic Load Balancer. So this distributes traffic to multiple instances. We can reroute traffic from unhealthy instances to healthy instances and can route traffic to EC2 instances running in different availability zones. And then we have Elastic Beanstalk here, which is easy for deploying web applications without developers having to worry about setting up and understanding the underlying AWS services, similar to Heroku, it's a platform as a service. So not all of these are about costs, some of them are about capacity management like ELB, um, but yeah, there you go.